Hi Grade Fives, welcome to session four of music this term. You might notice that I don't have my ukulele on me today and that's because I want you to take this week to prepare all the pieces we've been doing this half of term. So far we've looked at Baby Shark and Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Now I don't want you to play the whole of Baby Shark, all I want you to do is to know the chords that are involved in it, okay? So that means I need you to be able to play a C, a G, an E minor, an A minor, a D minor, an A major, an E7, an F sharp minor, and just to be able to play them on command. So if I say play an E7, be able to play an E7. If I say play a G7, play a G7 for me. I want you to just to have all those chords really well in the vocabulary of your ukulele, okay? So have them stored up in your mind. Make sure you know the shapes. You can visualize and say, okay, I know what G looks like. I know what G7 looks like and be able to apply on your ukulele. The next thing I want from you is not just your chords, but I want you to be able to play an arrangement of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And the arrangement I want you to be able to play is intro, chorus, two verses, chorus, outro. All right, again, intro, chorus, two verses, chorus, outro. So I'm gonna let you figure out those chords and figure out what that looks like. So remember for our choruses, we have those two parts. I've explained them pretty well. So in case you're wondering, Whoa, what, the, what are the two parts? Go check it out. And for the verses, they pretty much always come in two, so that shouldn't be hard. So make sure you get that arrangement. Intro, chorus, two verses, chorus, outro. Remember the outro is the same as the intro, just from the ooze. And make sure you finish on that C. So I want to see if you can be able to arrange a song according to the structure it's re that's required from it and if you can be able to play it on instrument. You don't have to sing, but if you think you can sing pretty confidently without it jeopardizing your ukulele playing, then I'm not going to stop you. That'll just be an added bonus and that'll be really, really cool because that shows a new level of musicianship. If you can play your instrument and sing along, but you don't have to sing along. Only if you can play your ukulele well, that's, then that's good enough for me. All right, grade five, so take this time to practice hard, practice well. We don't want any shoddy work. Make sure you know your chords, and I will see you next week. Bye, grade fives.